Well, good morning, everybody. The last 24 hours have been an absolute whirlwind. This time yesterday, I was in Corpus Christi, Texas, and now this morning, I'm in Pascagoula, Mississippi. The ship I am driving here to meet is due for all its annual inspections. I'm going to be doing what is called a GMDSS radio survey, which in short means I get to play with a very powerful radio, and I need to test all their safety equipment on the bridge. Now let's get up there. This is going to be a very interesting day. Well, that was a very quick trip to the bridge, but before I get started with my work, let me show you something very interesting about ships that you may not know. One thing most people probably do not know about ships is they have hidden emergency distress buttons they can press in case they are attacked by pirates. And once that button is pressed, emergency signal goes out and there's no indication on the bridge that an emergency button has been pressed. Part of my GMDSS radio survey that I'm performing today, I must verify that this ship security alert system is functioning properly. First, I have to alert the authorities that we are about to send a test message. Then I must locate every button on the vessel. I must then physically push each button and then verify that alert message has been received by the proper authorities. And before we get to the main show of testing the main radio, there are a few more interesting things I'd like to show you. Let's go walk inside of the bridge. There's always something beeping. And my usual grab the steering wheel scene. All sorts of alerts on the conning station display here. Nothing too serious. There's electronic charting, electronic charting system, their ECDIS. There are many other inspectors on board today performing various other annual inspections. Here you can see the free fall life raft being inspected. So this thing here, in case the order was given to abandon ship, the crew would climb into this life raft, seat belt themselves in, and then it would fall off the back of the ship. And just to give you an idea of how powerful this radio is, the transmitter cable going to the antenna must be protected to keep people away due to the high voltage. This is what feeds the antenna for the MFHF, medium frequency, high frequency radio. So on a vessel of this size, it is required to have enough battery storage to run the electronics on the bridge for at least one hour after a complete power failure, including the emergency generator. So just for the radio equipment, we have over 200 amp hours of battery on this vessel. It's much warmer in here than outside. I like it. Before I actually begin any transmissions on the MFHF radio, I am first going to shut off the AC power and the battery charger. By doing this, I can also test the batteries at the same time I am testing the radio. At the request of the captain, I'm not actually going to show the footage from the voice testing of the radio. However, I will make a DSC call to a U.S. Coast Guard station. DSC stands for Digital Selective Call and uses a number known as an MMSI number, which every vessel and coast station has assigned, and it functions much the same way a telephone number does. I will make the call to the coast station and wait to receive an acknowledgement back. In this example, I will place a DSC call to the Coast Guard station in Point Reyes, California, over 2,000 miles away. The MMSI number for Point Reyes is 00366-9990. I am changing the frequency to the 12,000 kilohertz band due to the large distance between here and Point Reyes. Once the information is entered, I select call and the test message is transmitted to Point Reyes. At this point, I cannot verify the radio is working until I receive an acknowledgement back from the coast station. After a total elapsed time of approximately 45 seconds, an acknowledgement was received from the coast station and as a result, automatically a hard copy was printed out on the printer. So I have now verified that the MFHF is successively transmitting and receiving digital select calls. 
This video has only been a brief summary of the work that was involved in completion of this GMDSS radio survey. However, I do believe it is getting long-winded at this point. Therefore, I'm going to end the video here. I hope that you enjoyed this video, you found it interesting, and maybe you learned something about how a ship operates. I will see you on the next one.